Hi, this is Luke with Ramex Productions. Today in Spotfire Tips and Tricks, we're going to go over how to easily add a ranking column. Today's data set, we have your state population data set. So we have all 50 states plus two territories for population data for 2010, 2018, and 2021. So to add a calculated column, you just go up to data. You could add add calculated column here, or I always like to go column properties because if I need to edit it, I can it keeps me in this window. So we're gonna scoot it over to to the right a little bit. So whenever we add a column, we could see what it does. So we're gonna say insert calculated column. So for me, I love just typing the functions out. Um, it's faster. So type it, and when it pulls up, I highlight it. You get it tab. As well as over here, you could type out the function as well. It will give you the description of that function as well as the arguments. So the big thing for rank you could do is you could do descending or we could do ascending as one of the arguments. And you could do look at examples as well. So for this, what we're going to do is rank population 2010, so I did the square bracket, did 2010. What we wanna do is do comma, and then double quotes, and we're gonna type out D-E-S-C for descending. And we're gonna write rank population 2010. And there we go. So, super simple. Now let's go to calculated column. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to type out rank, hit tab. We're going to do population, let's say 2021. And now what we want to do is we want to find the least populated states in 2021. So we're going to do comma, and this time we're going to do ascending. So ASC. And we're going to do column name, rank, population, 20. 21. We're going to hit OK. And we are going to sort this. And there you go. So this is good if you want to look at, say, the top 10 graphs. You can do it that way. So let's look at one visualization that will be good for ranking. So let's go cross table. We're going to right click, go properties, go axis, or horizontal. We're just going to name this as column names. And for population, we're going to say first, since we're only looking at one row of data, and we're going to call this population 2010. Okay. So what we can do is we can sort this. by descending. But what if we only wanted to show our top 10? So we go data, limit data using expression. And we are going to say rank population 2010. We're going to insert and do a less than or equals. And we're going to just type 10. We're going to hit OK. And then there's your top 10. We can as well as at our axis, rank Go back to first. And we'll just call this rank. So this is really good uh, for you could in the background, show your top 10. You could do ascending or descending. There is show hide items down here where you could do the same thing. So you could say 2010, you could say top 10 as well. This works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, especially the show hide doesn't work every time whenever you're doing mul multiple axis or multiple uh, trellises. So this is a way around it if you get stuck on that. Thank you for watching today. If you liked the video, go ahead and ram that thumbs up button. Then be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. 
Also, comment any issues you are having with Spotify so that I can come up with a video to help you out. Until next time.